The Imperial Japanese Navy, despite all its challenges, has enjoyed recent success by taking the airfield at Pontianak. This has allowed us to secure the western flank of Borneo, and now all eyes revert back to Singapore. With our troops finally in the ascendancy, but without supplies, the battle is hard and slow. If we can turn Singapore red and take control of her airfield and port, then that will secure the northwest area of the Java Sea. From here, we can then look south to Palembang on Sumatra. This currently has a level 3 airfield, which if we were to take it, would give us a good foothold to be able to strike at the islands and the bases on Java. One thing that we cannot ignore though, is our troops, supplies, fuel and engineering all bottlenecked at Tarakan on the east of Malaya. These supplies and troops are desperately needed in our offensive, however, the dangerous journey around the southern Borneo coast would almost certainly be death for any convoy sent there. We must push slowly, reducing the Allies' air power to a level which is acceptable to take the risk and join our bases on Malaya together. As the afternoon of the 15th of January proceeds, our resupply convoy and our invasion force head back to Kerchi for resupplies and rearmament. Hi everyone, welcome back to War on the Sea, Centrifugal Offensive. Here we are, day 21, it's coming up to half past two on the 15th of January 1942. And um, yes, we've taken Pontianak. And there's a small allied force remaining fighting the good fights but um lo and behold we got most of it which is great and we gives us access to a level two airfield here uh on the northwest side of borneo which we got some nate fighters and we've got some helen bombers as well which will be super super useful going forward and it also means that those allied aircraft can't be sent to attack our ships and aircraft uh, there is some allied uh, aircraft that seems to be in the area, so maybe I've got four nates. I probably don't need the drop tanks. Should we set, set an intercept course? Um, I don't know how these guys will do against um, their hurricanes or something. I don't think they'll fare too well, but we'll, we'll send them up. We've got a couple out on patrol anyway. The situation in Singapore. Uh, we've got eight... 18,500 troops on the ground, no supplies, unfortunately, so they are fighting without spare ammo and food and water, which, you know, they're just basically having to try and live off the land, as it were. But we're in the ascendancy at the moment, so hopefully they can come through the hardships and we can get that working uh, and take over Singapore in the near future. As I said in the intro, we've got so much supplies all bottlenecked up here. Um, and there's no way, <laughs> annoyingly, we can't go north and around, which would be the obvious choice, but we can't do that. The only way is to come south, and then we'd have to run past aerial attacks from these three bases here, possibly this base here as well. Uh, these two, these three bases here, uh, and there'll probably be very little left. Um, and that's without counting the countless, probably, allied submarines and naval assets in this area as well. It may be worth, if we take Singapore, we'll um, restock the this invasion force, take some of the damaged ships out, and we could maybe do a fast run around to see how we get on. But um, I'm a little bit wary to throw, potentially, uh, a lot of resources away on ships that will be sunk by all this, um, this uh, air power the Allies have massed down in this area. So yeah, let's see how these nates get on, and um, we don't have a count of how many. There's probably going to be about 40 aircraft, you know what they're like. So our four nates probably won't fare terribly well. Right, here are our nates in the area. Quite a nice paint job on them though, isn't there? I love the uh, the eagle and the uh, the camouflage paint. That is, that is a really quite good looking paint. I like that. Oh! I'll tell you what it is, it's uh, Blenheims, Blenheim fighters coming in to attack the uh, resupply convoy which is um, running between Pontianak and uh, our home base. They're going, okay, they've only got minor anti-aircraft guns on these, haven't they? Oh, he's down low. Okay, 
Oh my god. Did he just fly into it? Did one of the aircraft just fly into it? No, the actual 303s are doing a hell of a lot of damage. We managed to shoot one down. Those nates are over here. Hopefully they're not too far away. Right, having a quick look. Um... Let's get the fire. Try and put the fires out. She's oh god, she's she's lost a huge amount of hull. They did a huge amount of damage to that one, and I think it was also this one here. With let's get the fire the crews working on the fires. Um, stop the ships, as were the comments suggesting. Yes. Oh, we did. We have lost her. Too much damage, unfortunately. Yes. Um, I saw some of the comments say we've been screaming at you for. Uh, three episodes now to um, stop the ships when they're on fire helps firefighting yeah well apologies I bolt recorded because I went away on holiday and scheduled the videos so yes I, I've only just started reading the comments because I'm back from holiday so apologies if you didn't think your voice was being heard but I thought you'd rather have pre-recorded videos scheduled to be released rather than have no videos at all while I was away so that's the danger, but there we are. Hopefully we can save our tanker. It's looking a bit more positive, but yeah. Where's our nates? Oh, they're miles away. Unfortunately, the yeah, the nates are slow and um, not in the right area, but... That has cost us... One of our... What, what was it? It was the... Um... Jokuja? Jokuja Maru sinking? One of our merchant ships, anyway. Right, a little bit later, thank heavens we were able to put the fires out, and the, uh, the last pieces of um, damage have been well, quickly repaired. We've got the flooding out of the prop and rudder section and that's now back up and running. The fire spread around here but we managed to contain it and put it out. Uh, there we go, just this section, the general section here now. It's going to take a couple of minutes to uh, get that finished and um, we'll get this convoy back on the way. Confirmation then. Um, yes, we lost one of our transport ships but we managed to save the oil tanker. Um, our aircraft, our fighters were nowhere close enough to be actually um, attack the enemy fighters. We did shoot down three and we lost, um, sorry, the aircraft that attacked, we shot down one, beg your pardon, uh, which we saw come down. So no, that wasn't a uh, an aircraft. I thought originally the aircraft must have crashed into the um, transport ship for the amount of sheer damage it had done. Because uh, the hole the hole was blackened around just in front of the super section there, or the super structure sorry um, so I I thought they must have um, had a crash because one was very low wasn't it but no it, it, it seems that was 303 machine gun fire surprising surprising the amount of damage we really must stop building our ships out of uh, paper mache but there we go so that's okay let's get those um, RTBing then the remains of that resupply convoy are heading off then let's get them moving and oh, no, that slow should be fine Maybe we need to actually... Well, the invasion force has got some ships coming over it. What we might do is send the Nates up as a a bit of a, a cap over the resupply convoy as far as they can. And then maybe get the Oscars to do it from the other side. Just to secure them a little bit more. But for now, we've got some enemy forces coming in to attack the invasion force. Okay, here they are. Led by our cruiser, of course. Enemy aircraft spotted. Right, let's see if we can get the anti-aircraft fire doing its job. Obviously, we're not going to lay smoke. We've seen a vast improvement by not laying smoke. Now, they are doing evasive maneuvers. Oh, they got bombs as well. Well, there we go. Little 250s, I think they were. Is that going to land near the destroyer, or is the destroyer going to be able to dodge that? Able to dodge, thank heavens. We also have some buffalo coming in. Oh, 
Or aircraft over there. Looking to hit our destroyers, no doubt. Knock out the uh, anti aircraft defense. Yeah, these got little bombs underneath the wings as well. Yeah, oh, these are going for a freighter. Hits on our cruiser. Looks like they are targeting our cruiser. It's got a bit of a fire going. Um, I'm not going to put it to to stop moving just yet. Because um, she needs to keep mobile for the moment to see if she can avoid some more of these bombs dropping on her. More aircraft coming in. Again, definitely going for the cruiser. We've got one smoking. Oh, does that sound like a hit? Let's check the damage. Yeah, we got fires going. Get the cruise on that. Is that all the aircraft passed? Okay. Let's um let's slow them down. And we'll get the uh, the crews doing their business, getting these uh, these fires out before they spread. We've got the engineering section there, and we've got the uh, five-inch secondary gun on fire there as well. Okay, we're almost on top of this fire. If it doesn't spread in the next few seconds, we should be okay. Okay, fire's out. Let's start working on the uh, the minor damage. We can start moving this convoy again. There we go. Right, okay, we'll get some of this repaired. It was only the um, Takao which was uh, attacked. Well... The destroyers were attacked, but they received no damage. So it was only the uh, the cruiser that actually got hit. So, okay, we've got we no time to waste. Let's crank this up and get moving. We've got torpedo bombers coming in from astern. My goodness, just when we thought these are going to be um, wildebeest, aren't they? Fairies of wildebeest. Yes, they are indeed torpedo bombers. Okay, I've got a couple of the destroyers heading out to try and. Knock them out before they um, get towards the convoy. Give them a hail of fire. Also, maybe split up their attacks, and hopefully, when we've got a little bit of water to maneuver, um, we can um, get them to loose. There they are. There's the first flight. There's about three or four flights of them. So yeah, if we can get some of these, either to drop their torpedoes early. And save the, the cruiser and the uh, the major ships. That will be good. Here they are. They're coming straight for the destroyer. And the destroyer is heading towards them to see if we can get a couple of them shot down before they cause any trouble. If you want to release your torpedoes against my destroyer, that's fine. No, you're not. Smoking. More aircraft coming in over there. Second wave coming in. Oh, they dropped their torpedoes. They have. Okay, they're going for our destroyer. Alright, let's see if we can take control and sail between these torpedoes. Uh, she's not answering the helm. Oh, they're going to get hit. Oh, it's a dud, thank heavens. She is, oof. She wasn't particularly answering the helm very well. Right, okay, she's okay. It appears that these are going for the cruiser. Can we turn in, get our anti-aircraft fire on them before they get to the cruiser? There you go, guns are firing. having much luck. Meantime, another flight coming over there. Oh, point blank range! Can he outrun the torpedo? 
Who's yes? Okay. Good save. Meantime, that first wave. Oh, one of them has been shot down. They're going for the cruiser. And there's also another fourth wave, which is going for uh, one of our cargo ships. I think everyone else is okay for the moment. Right, she's going to do some emergency turning. Hopefully that will save her when they drop. Meantime here they these three come in. Another one shot down. They're going point blank, aren't they? Fourth, third one shot down. Torpedo dropped, and he's going to miss. Oh, but he, he kamikaze into my ship. All right, slow down, slow down. Cruise, oh my god, look at the damage. Meanwhile, this one successfully evaded those torpedoes. All eyes on my cruiser, though. She is in a really bad way. kamikaze straight into her. There goes the torpedo. Uh, this is not looking good at all. Right, a bit of time later, the good news is the fire's out. Bad news is we've got heavy flooding. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get the flooding under control. We've got a huge bit of damage there. She's got to, if we can get her back to home base, uh, she's got to go in for a pair. But we were a long way from home. Confirmation then: the Takao receives heavy damage and moderate flooding. Is um <laughs> everything's damaged? This, these guys have taken such a pounding going back and forth to Singapore. Uh, Thirty-nine aircraft attacked. We shot down five. At five to six that evening, as the last of the sunlight drops beneath the horizon. We've got enemy fighters coming in once more to give our cruiser and the invasion convoy a hard time. Start to do some evasive maneuvers. We haven't spotted what they are, whether not they're bombers or what. Uh, they might be bombers after we've just been attacked by the fighters and the torpedo bombers. It could be Blenheims and Martins. Where are we firing? Where are they coming in? Where have you spotted them? Okay, the buffaloes. They are. They don't have any bombs. They're obviously on a cap, and they've decided to come in to try and strafe the uh, the convoy. Okay. Again, as a cruiser, you wouldn't be that terrified about some fighters coming in to strafe you. Not great, but um, she's got a soft stern now, so I'm a little bit worried. I'll be honest. Well, that firepower coming up. Here they go. Alright, got another flight coming in. And two more flights coming in. By the looks of it. Really? None shot down? That surprises me. We're not getting the. Uh, the number rolls today, it would seem. None of them shot down. That is poor. Well, maybe I need to uh, amass the. Uh, if they're going to go for the cruiser. Maybe I need to amass a couple of the destroyers around her. Minor damage, nothing to worry about. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe if I bring one of the destroyers to sort of escort it. But I've got my destroyers. I've got two here actually, which is not good. I should have one out here just to try and you know ring the um, the convoy ships for any defence against subs and stuff. But yeah, we got some minor damage. 
Uh, we'll get that repaired and we'll hopefully be on our way. Hopefully there's nothing more coming for us. Confirmation then, no real damage done. 12 aircraft attack, no aircraft shot down unfortunately. Right, from... Um, oh, it's gone 6. One minute past, damn. Was, okay, but they're going to be safe anyway. I was going to put the Nates to try and escort them up the coastline. Then we get the Oscars to escort them around the coast. Um, but yeah, through the cover of the night, these ships should go rather unmolested unless there's any naval units in terms of shipping or subs in the area. We've got 62 command points. Nice. What I might do then. Uh, I want to get another sub out on patrol. So let's get some subs. Where's my subs? Um, not the little midgets. There we go. Um, so we get I121 back. 23. So we get a couple of subs. Let's, no, let's get one. Right, I-121 is back in the fleet, which is great. Welcome back. We'll get her to start patrolling. Let's have a patrolling down here. And what I might do is actually see if we can patrol around Palembang or uh, what we've got here. Batavia. Um, or Banjamasin. Got a level 2 airfield there. Level 3 airfield and port at... Um, Balik Papan. Yeah, I'm sure this is perfect um, pronunciation. Yeah, we'll get her going down. But what we could also do potentially is actually recruit from um, our port here in uh, Tarakan. What if we were to get. Um... So we could probably get three ships and just dump a load of troops on this island. Although they probably wouldn't fare terribly well. No, we'll hold that off. But maybe that's that's the other option is that we 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 build up some command points and then we buy a small fleet which will then attack Palin Papan um, in a strike. But anyway, we've got our um, sub here. She's going to come down here, then we're going to sort of find her some new orders. Right, at 9.13, our resupply ships have made it back, and they are in... You know, she's damaged, but she'll probably be okay for the moment. Um, what I might do is we've got four ships there. What do we got in our fleet here? Okay. We've probably got some which are damaged and will definitely need to be replaced. Oh, God. Yeah. Um... How is Singapore doing? Holding up there with 18,177 troops, doing a good fight. Yeah, so I am just going to um, move you up there for the moment. Give us room to get our invasion force in when they arrive. Right, and at 6am on the 17th of January. Let's just move that along a little bit so our planes get out of the way. Our invasion force has made it back to the home base. Right. Um, yeah, we need to release our, release our cruiser for sure, um, the, uh, Nitkin Maru is also badly damaged, oh, they're all badly damaged, aren't they? Everything is badly damaged, except the Asakazi, um, right let's 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 get these released and repaired then confirm that we'll get the asakazi you come over here and we'll get you to merge with them we've got 45 command points from the release and repair of the other ships to this point and if we have a look at our repair list right wow so uh our jinsu this light cruiser we haven't seen since the beginning <laughs> Um, another seven days until her points are available. Uh, we got the um, Turukini Marus. There's two of them. They're going to be another eight days before they are available. The Kokuru Marus. Two of them. 17 days and eight days. The Fubuki Destroyer. 14 days. The Kamikaze Destroyer. Eight days. 
and the, our heavy cruiser 18 days yes so what we probably need to do is get ourselves another heavy cruiser because we still need more troops 17,800 yeah we get another load of troops there I think that will probably do it um, we've got 420 supplies now woohoo which is uh, which is something um, yeah, small number of engineering fuel still back at base, but um, right, right, we've got some more ships, right, we've put loads in for re rest and repair, there we go, so, um, I've actually put the tankers in there as well because they were damaged, that one wasn't damaged, we should, should have just got the point straight back, but we didn't, which is a bit of a, annoying, um, but we've got a new heavy cruiser, the Mayoko, Looking gorgeous. We've got um, the Azakazi, which was survivor. We've got two merchant ships and we've got two further destroyers. We are going to try and defend these guys as best we can. Right. So, we are... Let's get them some supplies. Mm. And troops... Right, there we go. And we'll set this. Hopefully this is going to be faster. And, um... Well, it doesn't appear to be faster. But it should be better defended from enemy aircraft. So they're on their way. Um... Things are still okay down here in Pontianac. Things are looking good. And we've got our submarine on patrol around here. Uh, this is where we saw, if you remember, cast your mind back a few episodes, there was those um, anti-submarine ships doing patrols and there were some convoy ships down here as well. So we're just going to check them out and then I'll do some patrols around here. I don't want to go too close to the bases, just in case we get hit by um, uh, patrol craft. That's what did for one to one last time. So we're going to have to keep her uh, slightly at arm's length. And at 6 minutes past 4 on the 18th of January, we just got confirmation Singapore has fallen to our troops. Oh, before our resupply convoy gets there, Singapore has fallen. It's still showing blue. Now it's red. Hallelujah. Singapore is ours. Right, Palembang. Things are looking dicey for you, my friends. Right, what does that grant us in terms of air support? Oh, of course. 2.5 hours before we can uh, get control of the airfield and then it'll be dark so we won't be able to launch any aircraft brilliant but we have um, loads of troops here Singapore has fallen thank heavens for that so this force uh, we may need to send it south um, it's not this this was a topping up force this is not really the full invasion force that we need to take Palembang but um okay I think that will be our next next goal fantastic um, good right they can slowly creep down here uh, what I might do then is change your course and bring you over here and get you to start patrolling around here just in case they start to send any capital ships to try and deal with our heavy cruiser we've got a sub protecting them Happy days. Right, it's 6 a.m. on the 19th of January. Now, let's have a look. What do we got? We've got six Oscars, um, six Helen flat bombers, and we've got, oh, some Mavises. These are the um, float planes, aren't they? They can carry tor torpedoes or bombs or everything. Oh, sweet. What's the rate? Their endurance is 1,363 miles. Perfect. They are the perfect long distance spotter plane then awesome right let's get a couple of these up we'll do them in pairs so if they do spot anything they can do some damage uh, right 1300 miles that's huge that can, they can patrol all the way down here oh we're launching the fight what are we what are we firing at our heavy cruiser has engaged Okay, spotted on the horizon. It's a little armed trawler escorting 
A, uh, what looks to be a Liberty Cruiser. Oh, sorry, Liberty Cruiser. A Liberty Cargo Ship. Ah. Finally, we can do some offensive work. Oh, the heavy cruiser's closing in on this poor little trawler. Let's just like, come on, it's a heavy cruiser. What what chance have we got? Let's get out of here, boys. But what have they got in terms of armaments? They've got depth charge racks. They've got anti-aircraft gu uh, uh, guns, and they've obviously got a what's that? Five-inch gun or something. Yeah, they're um, skedaddling as quickly as they can. This is what I sent the um to the U-boat to try and hit, but um, our cruiser seems to have run into them first. We'll only take a couple of hits from the cruiser to sink this one. Right, we've got our fighters coming in. Uh, we've got six fighters in the air, so four are going to attack the merchant ship. Two are going to have a go at this trawler. She's got anti-aircraft fire, but it will. these two will distract the, the um, or draw the anti-aircraft fire for the other four to attack that one. So I got a funny feeling they might be able to outrun our convoy. Maybe need to break the destroyers off to chase them down. Oh, did they just got a strike? Or was that the anti-aircraft guns firing on the um, the trawler? It might have been. Right. Fingers crossed. These boys go okay. One of them has been um, hit and smoking. They're getting out of dodge. Oh, has the other one been shot down? My word, they shot one down. That's that's annoying. Oh, but she's she's gone. That looks like they've got they've done enough. That trawler is listing badly. Right, focusing our attention on this. Uh, could be a C3 freighter actually. That trawler's listing, but she's still firing away, doing her duty to the end. Got to applaud her for that. Get these boys out of the way. Okay, I'm not sure. I think she's making smoke rather than that's a fire, isn't it? The trawler is um, pretty much dead in the water thanks to our ship. That's uh, thanks to our aircraft. Sorry, she's listing badly. It can only be a matter of time before she goes under. Oh, and the cruiser is now getting close. Oh, uh, they managed to get a little bit of the flooding out of it. Oh no, she's still listening badly. Uh, you can start to see the ships on the horizon now, and the flashes on the horizon. Oh, the, the shots are landing around her. She's such a small target, so it's going to be quite tricky. But the closing rate is quite high. The uh, cruiser and destroyers are doing 34 knots. And these are probably doing, I don't know six five or six at most with a damage as you can see the c3 freighter is um, making a run for it under a cloud of smoke uh, but hopefully we should if we got enough time should be able to run her down oh my goodness how are these not hitting So the hits. Oh, there we go. And the hits are raining in now. Another one like that. That should do her, I should imagine. 
that could be enough. Okay, we're nearing the end of the engagement area, so hopefully we can get a few more hits and got the fires blazing on the rear. But um, yeah, we need to stop her getting out of the way from us so we can finish her off. Hopefully uh, she's slowing down with the damage. Yeah, she was doing 18 knots. I was wondering why they weren't catching up quite so quickly, but 18 knots is uh, fairly swift. Especially for a merchant ship this size, so yeah, impressive performance. Good hits coming in. Surely it's only a matter of time. Is she going to be able to sneak away from us though? Okay, it's turned into a little bit of a duck shoot now, look at this, they're just struggling there and we're just lining up and hitting her. It's only a matter of time before that merchant ship is sent down to the bottom. She's still returning far though and almost got a hit on our cruiser. Cheeky blighter. Going down fighting. Good on them I suppose. Next lot of shells in from the cruiser. Oh, long. Oh, and those ones are short, okay. Only a matter of time, though. And there she goes. tries to get one final shot in and she's got that cruiser smoking no way okay having a look okay she got well torpedoes on fire this is a little bit worrying but hopefully we can get that out pretty quick and uh, nothing much more to worry about confirmation at the end of that then we we're able to repair the minor damage to the Mayoko uh, and we were able to sink an Isles trawler for 554 tons and a C3 freighter for 12,000 tons. Huzzah! And we didn't lose an aircraft. Um, we managed to dodge it. It had gone straight on the other one and turned. So, one command point gained. It's a small victory. It's a victory. Okay, it's Hurricanes. Hurricanes challenging the fleet. They're up high though, so they must have just spotted us. And Now they're coming, circling down so they can get a, an attack on our ships. Is it just these two? Fingers crossed. Oh no. And there's scores of them. Okay, they're coming in for the destroyers, it would seem. A hail of anti aircraft fire sent in their direction. No, he's going for the merchant ship. Aircraft shot down. More, another flight of four coming in there. Another hurricane shot down. Another flight coming in. Two four flights coming in. Goodness me! They come in for this merchant. Yes, they are. Lots of fire from their guns. The, where's the last flight gone? Have I lost the last flight? Okay, here's the fourth flight. I missed it. They've um, come to the rear and they're heading for the other merchant ship. Drop tanks down. 
four hits on that merchant ship. Come on, let's get some more of these fighters. She may be damaged. Let's have a quick look at her. Ah, only minor damage. Nothing to worry about. Confirmation that minor damage to those merchant ships has been repaired. Of the 14 hurricanes that attacked us, we shot down to uh, 20 past 4 as our ships near the enemy base. It looks like there's more enemy aircraft being sent up towards us. However, we do have some friendly aircraft in the skies above us. Hopefully, that will be enough to uh, defend our ships. Okay, enemy fighters spotted. Our fighters are coming in. The Nates may be slightly too far away, but here come the Oscars. The buffaloes? Possibly buffaloes. A couple of flights of them as well. Nice! Nice! Bomb's gone. Their flight further, uh, further down as well. It's a bit spraying and praying, but... We missed our cruiser. And as we've been stationary to repair, more fighters are coming later. Bo oh, bomb carrying hurricanes. Oh, clever. They've used the first aircraft to draw our fighters away. Our carrier is stationary and is a sitting duck. She's just making steam now. Oh, thank heavens. I think they're drop tanks rather than bombs. Another flight coming in. Good news is the carrier, it, so the cruiser is um, pretty much uh, repaired. A um, bit of flooding and oh, she caused a bit of damage there, but another couple of Oscars chasing them down now. But my goodness me. Confirmation in the after action report minor damage to the cruiser, uh, minor damage to one of our. Uh, merchant ships as well. Um, of our 10 cap aircraft we lost 6. Of the 32 aircraft that attacked we shot down 7. And as 7pm rolls round, Palembang has our force just in its sight, in its harbour basically. Palembang's got a level 3 airfield. Can we bombard it? Let's have a look. Alright, let's select the Mayoko then. Uh, wrong one. Let's shore bombardment. We've got the airfields, you can see the coverage um, sphere lesson. Yes, a level 2 airfield, right, okay, good, that should help us. We won't have as many aircraft going forward. Right, let's drop off, uh, unload all cargo. There we go, so we now have almost 2,000 troops in Palembang, and it seems to be ooh, probably about a third of the forces, so they've probably got about 4,000, 5,000 troops there, plus 400 supplies. Okay, that's all we had. Let's um, head back. Now what we can probably do is set course for... How far is it there? 25 hours? 20 hours. Let's head to um, Singapore then and try and get some of those troops down here. We'd be able to quickly get um, some troops. That's about 10 hours quicker than going it was between there and there. Um, aircraft over Singapore, okay. That's probably those aircraft we saw sailing out. It's 10 o'clock at night, so I'm not sure what they're doing. Well, yes. As we come up to midnight on the 19th, uh, these guys are heading back. The fight is on for Palembang. Um, if we can get a load of troops there, we might be able to quickly take that, and then all of a sudden, this map is looking a little bit happier for us. 
Yes, indeed. We've already knocked down the airfields here, so less aircraft they can put up in the sky and obviously a less um, distance that they can cover as well. So that's all good news. Um, and we've taken Singapore, plus knocked a couple of um, allied ships out today. Nothing too great, a C3 and a trawler, but um, it's all small victories at the moment. Uh, so we'll leave it there for now. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.